Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to set up mule runtime on the Docker engine. So basically, what is a Docker? Docker is a container engine where you can deploy and build your application and even you can test your application. So in this video, we will going to create a multiple instance of a mule runtime on the Docker engine. Then we will register both the mule runtime into any point control plane and we will cluster them together. Let me show that what we're going to do. So I will create a Docker file like this is nothing. It's a description file where it contains the uh, instruction like how to create a Docker engine and what Docker engine should contain like uh, JDK X like there are multiple things like mule runtime engines. So it, it is just a file where we are giving some kind of instruction like uh, what docker image should contain basically so with docker file we will create a we build a mule image so we will uh, build one image from that image we will run a two uh, mule runtime so like let's consider mule runtime one and mule runtime two so they will be in a separate container then we will register both mule runtime into any point platform and we will cluster them together so this is a simple poc we will going to do Okay. So there is some prerequisite. So make sure a Docker engine is running on your machine. So in my case, I have already installed a Docker desktop. So basically you can go to Docker and you can just, you know, uh, you can search on internet Docker desktop or even you can in, uh, install a Docker engine also. So you can just download for Windows and Mac and for Linux is also available. And second thing, like make sure like you create uh, one folder on your local uh, laptop. Or local machine so I have set a, I have already downloaded a mule runtime 4.4 and I have created one docker file let me open this docker file so basically docker file is nothing it's a file uh, which contain you know, some instruction so basically here I am saying I need to you know uh, set up a JDK open JDK 8 then like I am just saying like what is the mule uh, environment version so I am setting the environment property then I am setting the mule home which is uh, slash opt slash mule then I am just adding this uh, mule e distribution standard zip into this slash opt folder so in like uh, on the container so we are adding this particular uh, or simply we are adding this uh, zip file a uh, runtime zip file into the opt folder of your docker container then we will run some command so we will like uh, we are running a multiple command basically so we have something called uh, run set minus x let me maximize this okay here i am seeing i am going to this opt folder then i am unzipping this uh, mule runtime which we have added in slash opt folder then we are moving content from this mule enterprise standard of 4.0 to mule so let me show you so what happening like uh, once you will extract this right so you have a folder called mule enterprise standalone 4.4.0 so i am just moving a content from this folder to mule because our home path is slash opt slash mule then i am just setting up some license so this is uh, so when you are installing uh, a mule runtime on your docker so like you just have to use this particular command mule home slash bin install license mule license file basically it's a simple command yeah generally like you will get a 30 days uh, like license for your mule runtime basically once you download from the internet it, it like you can use it for 30 days then i'm just saying working directory is the dollar mule home then i'm just mounting some of the volume so dollar mule home slash apps dollar mule home slash conf dollar mule home slash domain dollar mule home slash log so basically you are mounting your local storage or local folder into your docker container okay. so there's a no need of this come this thing so you can forget about this then i'm just checking with the license is properly installed or not so you can see that then i am exposing some http port so like you need like when you are installing mule runtime you need to open some of the ports so 8082 there are some port uh, needs to be open to communicate with any point platform so basically when we will going to set up a cluster right so you have to ensure that these are the ports open like 
for debugging 5000 is open for gm export like mmc agent port all these ports so then finally i have entry point so once i build the image when i will run the image so first thing it should start the mule runtime you need to tell the entry point so it will go and whenever it will create uh, whenever it will run the image or whenever it will create the container out of your image it will just execute this command for first time and which ensure that your mule like which will ensure that the, it whenever the container is created it start the mule runtime okay so this is the simple file so i will going to share this file with you okay so let me close this and let me save this and let me go to uh, docker folder and just i will just say cmd i just want to check whether docker is running on my machine so you can say docker version it will give a docker version and let me check if there is any image on my machine so you can uh, you can see sorry any container on my machine you can use the command docker ps let me check if there is any images on my machine i don't have any image now i will going to build a image so from this docker file i will go to build this particular new image so command is very simple you can use docker build okay my then you have to say minus t so you have to give uh, name of uh, name of the image so i will say mule docker demo and then you have to provide a docker file and just press enter something is not gone right i'm just checking yeah i think it's minus i let me check whether i am in correct path or not it should be minus t only docker yeah the problem is that at the end i have to put a dot i think okay so i am just using docker build minus t which is the docker image name and this is the docker file press enter so now it will start building your docker image so you can see it here so docker image has been successfully built so you can again use docker images start so you can see this docker image has been created even you can see on the this desktop also you can see a mule docker demo you can see it here all on the docker desktop that's fine so now next step we have to build container 1 and container 2 which having the mule runtime installed so for that you have to use the command docker run this is the command okay and you have to give a port in and out port in this case i will use 8092 8092 for in and out both then minus t you have to give the image name from which you have to build a container docker demo then minus i or simple you can go at the end minus i you can give it here let's check whether it's run or not so now it start running the mule runtime yeah you can see we have created one image and it has been successfully deployed and if you go to your docker desktop it should be click on in use so you can see one of the docker or mule runtime is that up and running so you can go to uh, this cli and if you want to see any logs you can just click here you will see the like mule runtime is up and running and even you can go here and you can check everything so just press ls ltr so list the directory so you can see all the folders and everything like logs domains and everything so you can go to cd logs and you can see ls so and also you can say cat mule tab so you can see logs and everything so we have created the one container which containing mule runtime now we will create a second container i will open a, another command prompt okay and let me go to this particular folder i don't think we have to like that's fine we can do that so now again 
so we have like also we can check how many containers are running so you can say docker ps so you can see one container is already running okay and let me put a docker images again star all the images so now i will create a second instance of your mule runtime i say docker okay then i will use run minus docker run then you have to give a minus p port in this case i will use separate port 8093 8093 then minus i minus t you have to give a image name mule docker demo so this is the second instance of your mule runtime yeah it's installed so let me go and execute one more command basically i can go to again cmd and I can say docker ps so you can see two containers are running now and it will use any name like you know you can see that now go to docker desktop and just verify it now there's a two container the next thing what we will do I will log in into any point platform I will log in into my any point platform and i will go to servers i will add both the container or both the mule runtime into your control plane so i will say add server i can say docker server one you can copy this per command then go to your docker desktop and just run this like go to, go to the first uh, container and just click on cli and just say ls minus ltr list you have to go to bin folder cd bin then say ls so if you see your amc setup is available in bin you can run this command here just press enter your server should be registered there you can see your docker server one is registered we will be going to execute the same command on second mule runtime i will go to cd bin then i will say ls so we have a amc setup just make sure you are changing the name of your server i will just say docker server 2 correct so it is running now what you can do uh, you can go back to your cli and you can go to cd bin you can say mule stop or dot slash mule stop so you have to restart the mule runtime and even you can start it from here also so there are multiple options you can stop it from here also so still it's in created mode it should come up quickly yeah it's docker server one is running and let me start this also you will see a docker server two will also running Okay, that's fine we can close this command prompt we don't require any more yeah both are running you can see that so both are running here also so we have successfully able to register our dog mule runtime or a docker container where mule runtime is running into the any point platform now we will create a cluster we just click on cluster we will say docker demo cluster right i will use multicast i will just select both the docker server I will say create cluster so once I will say create cluster you can observe a CLI also not CLI sorry you just click on this you will see some like logs here so you can see like something is happening basically right hopefully it will quickly create the server a cluster so I'm waiting for it the cluster is mode is enabled now it is running something let me check on second also something is going here also now it's deployed so you can see your cluster is up and running uh, you can see that the server is successfully up and running right now let me do one thing i have a sample application i'll go to application and i will try to deploy the application on mule run on mule runtime so i will say docker demo app i will just select the docker demo cluster 
I will choose the file upload file and I can use one simple application deploy application so let me go to and let, let check the log here you can check log for, for any of the container or any of new runtime so you can see new app dom there trying to deploy it on your container So it's doing it. Yeah, the application is successfully started. You can see it started. And if you want to cross verify if your application is deployed on container or not, you can go to CLI. In CLI, you can go to CD apps folder, just say LS LTR list. So you can see there's an application deployed successfully. And you can do same thing on the second second container you can go to CLI say CD apps LS minus LTR you can see yeah so this is how you can run your mule runtime in a docker engine then you can register a mule runtime on any point platform and you can do this uh, clustering and then you can deploy the application right I hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching